Largo. If you're We're dealing with madmen. I don't have time to tell you more. I'm going to destroy the chip in my cell phone so they can't track you down. And it is with great pleasure that I have the privilege of telling you that at this very moment, a freighter chartered by Group W, containing some 70,000 tons of milk, has just made its departure for Genavia. And in conclusion, I would like to point out that all credit for this humanitarian operation should go to Ms. Jenny Lucas, director of our agribusiness branch. Thank you very much. Phew, I'm glad that's over. Forget these crazy reporters and get back to Sullivan and his guests in the VIP room. John? Yes. So j you I do you I then I play have you I nice. slog don't worry. Mm. You can you what I and I the G the one. Largo, sorry to disturb you, but I've just been told that Sharon Green should be here any minute. She's got some bad news for you concerning one of our Mexican labs. Sharon Green? Our communication officer. She's the one who keeps tabs on Group W's image. And if she wants to see you. Chances are we're headed for a scandal. Thanks, John. I'll be there in a minute. Miss Green. Mr. Yes, what I'm not sure. Yes, yeah. it, it's... What is no. Largo, I've just had an anonymous phone call. Apparently there's a bomb in here. We've got to get everyone out, nice and calm. It's locked. We're locked in. Okay, okay, keep cool. I'll pick that lock for you, no problem. You try and find another way out. I'll let Simon play around with the door while I try to find another way out. in a tuxedo. Largo, you've got to be the most outrageous CEO I've ever met. Buck alarm clock. Someone wanted to get me away from the other guests. But why? What do they want to stop me from? Jesus, Sharon Green's documents. That's it. I did it.
did it! <laughs> Simon. God. Gee, keep cool. Well, then, did you snow? Hey, yeah. Next, thanks. Are you looking up? <laughs> Jenny? Logo! My what? I thought you had shit. No. I'm done. Have a little champagne, Sharon. It'll help you feel better. Thank you, Mr. Winch. I'm sorry. I'm really confused. I... I... I panicked. You have nothing to be sorry about, Sharon. A bomb scare and then an assault. You've every right to be shaken up. You're not hurt, are you? No. They just knocked me down so they could grab the document. This file must contain some pretty important information for someone to just burst in here and grab it. Have you got another copy? No, but it doesn't matter. I've got it all saved on my computer's hard drive at home. Then there's no time to lose. Let's get over to your place. All right. I didn't feel like going home alone tonight anyway. I know we should have taken a taxi, but I needed to get some air. How did you get a hold of this information, Sharon? My team was warned as soon as the guards were killed and Jack Place had vanished. But how did you find out that something was wrong in the Mexican lab? Well, in this kind of situation, the first thing we always do is go through the computer resources. It seems a hundred or so kilos of genetically modified colza seed had been produced in the lab without the director knowing. Next thing you know, this illicit production disappeared, and certain files seem to have been tampered with. Who could have tried to intercept this information? I've no idea, but something really big is about to happen. I can feel it. Freeze! Empty your pockets! Stay back, Sharon. I'll take care of this guy. I really should have stayed home tonight. It's not your fault, Sharon. Do you think this thug had something to do with the hotel attackers? I have no idea, but let's not hang around here to find out. Apparently you like roses. Yes, I do. Nice to look at, nasty to touch. Just like my job at Group W. Show me this Mexican file, Sharon. The PC switched on. I left in a hurry and I don't remember where I left the CD with the W Food Research file. But you should be able to find it easy enough. I'm going to take a shower to help me recover from all this emotion. Make yourself at home, Largo. I'll be with you in a minute.